Pongsi Fachai, to all fellow Toastmasters, <coughs> respected judges, and a beloved guest. Do you all know when did you get into rat race in your life? I think it is very difficult to pin down the exact moment when you joined the race. But I believe most of us in this room are already in the race. Rat race is nothing but a competitive struggle. And the problem with the rat race is there is no finish line. And the wheel keeps spinning and spinning and spinning. The longer you are caught in this vicious cycle, the more natural it becomes. We always compare our experiences, our joy, our pain, everything with others and be unhappy. Let me share some of my personal experience where I was just a rat and did things which never brought happiness to me. After my 12th standard, uh, similar to the whole level exams here, I did my engineering because everybody did it. I completed my engineering without knowing anything about engineering because I didn't have any passion for the subject. Then I decided to shift my career to software because everybody did it. <laughs> I copied shamelessly. <laughs> then I got a job with Behrein. I moved to Behrein. It was extremely tiring job as I had to check my emails every few hours once at least to see if there's one or two emails in my inbox. There were no targets hanging over my head except for the wall clock. The job was so relaxed but I wasn't happy because many of my classmates were in US and I also wanted to go to US. <laughs> At the end, I quit my job and I also didn't manage to go to US. The only fortunate thing happened was I came to Singapore and got sick. Otherwise, I could have Toastmaster and missed this wonderful Toastmaster. <laughs> <laughs> While in Singapore, when I used to travel in public transport, I always dreamt of driving a car. Eventually, I managed to buy an entry level Chevrolet car in 2009. But the happiness of owning a car didn't last longer because I want a better branded car. Eventually, after saving some money, I managed to upgrade myself to Honda Civic in 2015. You all think I'm happy now driving Honda Civic? No! <laughs> Whenever I see people driving Audi or BMW, I wish I can drive an Audi. <laughs> so, be it consumer electronics, or buying a car or a house, nothing can find you lasting happiness. We always need stronger and stronger doses to find happiness. To add fuel to the fire, we don't let the rat race die with ourselves. We pass it on to our younger generation, our kids. And it's, it's a pathetic thing that uh, they are they're pushing the rat race without being wanted to. I, I know many of the parents want the kids to be very competitive. They even uh, send the kids, actually, the kids are, they wanted the kids to be very competitive and uh, they try to want the kids to be a achiever, a great achiever in the school, topper in the school. So they put them into a lot of tuitions, extra coaching classes like Tumu, Abacus, etc. And these days, I see parents even taking leave for the kids' P1 exams because they want the kids to be a topper in the school. The other thing I noticed, that the future parents, right, the, when the kids are already in the womb, they started to read books to the kids' baby in the womb. So you won't be surprised in future years that a baby coming out of the womb singing a rhyme. <laughs> in 2030, there will be tuition centers for the babies in the head. <laughs> that is the world we are heading towards. The next wish for the parents is to push the kid into a gifted education program. Poor kid is not gifted anymore. The race continues in PSLE, O levels, A levels, university. And the kids are not happy either. Even the school holidays are very stressful for them because the parents want them to learn additional skills like swimming, skating, keyboard, etc. because they want to put this in the portfolio for the kids. Do you all think the kids are really enjoying and appreciative of this? No. <coughs> no. Rightly said. There is no childhood for them these days and we don't let them to just slack or sleep as long as they wish or watch their favorite TV shows. Or What's the uh, player favorite game? Their lives are fully scheduled driven. 
the kids are also depressed and forced and they, they are unable to cope up with the pressure from the school and also from the expectation from the parents. The worst thing is the kids even commit suicide at a very young age. We need to ponder all the numbers and grades more important than our kids' well-being? It's absolutely no. As Albert Einstein rightly said, everybody is a genius. But if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it will live its whole life believing it's stupid. Aren't there any solutions for us to come out of this bloody rat race in life? Of course there are. It's all within us. We need to understand everyone is unique. We need to understand everyone is special on the own people. We need to understand everyone is born to achieve the fullest potential. There is no need for us to compare or race with others. We have to race within ourselves and become a better person every day. Let us try to be more contented and enjoy every single moment in life. Remember, life is a journey, not the destination. And you don't want to spend that journey or a treadmill going nowhere. Thank you for this chat.